welcome to How Long Is Your Shoestring and Feeding a Family on a Budget. Today we have Rusty Bennett, she's facilitating the show, and behind me are all our contestants for today. Yay! We're giving each of them $200, we're sending them in there and they have to come up with five healthy meals for their family for a week. The question is, can they feed their family on a budget that's healthy for a week? Can you have it? Don't pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Gotta learn to shop coffee now. Gives me size eight. Size I'm now, it's disgusting. Wish me luck. Them slots are better than I had a shop. <laughs> Good luck, Aunty Lee. Yeah, it's going good, just getting the basics, you know. Looks like you've got some really healthy choices in here. Yeah, I do. I reckon you could have got a cleaner cut of meat, but anyway. <laughs> well, you've got to go up there and pick the farm with them, mate. Yeah, I think you should get some porterhouse. It's, it's a really nice clean cut and it's a big, big steak. It's a decent size. It's a bit more I'm, I'm only on a budget there, brother. <laughs> Feed my kids. So we have Monique with us and this is her trolley. Amy, do you want to tell us a bit about a trolley? Well, it's looking pretty good so far, Monique. Um, got a bit of meat, got a bit of veg, strawberries, they're always good for snacks. Mm. <laughs> Where are you up to dollar wise? Honestly, I. Um, Aunty Lee's strong. What have we got in your trolley today? Do you, think, do you think it's healthy? Do you think it's economical? What are you going for? What's your, what, yeah, as opposed to your strategy walking into Woolworths? Many veggies, fruit and veggies. What are you for the for the yeah. Yeah. Can't even, can't even shop. <laughs> oh my okay, god. So we've got Lalara Cabain and this is her trolley and Russ is gonna give a little talk about the trolley. I'm I'm really loving seeing all these healthy choices. I haven't seen anybody pick any fatty, sugary stuff. It's all good foundations for building really healthy meals. Wheat bix, keep you full for long, baked beans, nice and easy, and they're Good for you. And make it a lot. So she, she can get a lean of meat, you know, there's a lot of fat on those chops, a lot of fat. We need to trim that fat. So we're going to send her back to the meat section and she's going to trim that fat. Well, I think you're doing a pretty good job. Let's have a look at her shopping list, shall we? Yeah, I can see several possible meals that will come out of this trolley, like four or five meals already. She's actually even numbered the nights, which is really great. So yep. we can turn over here for cupboard and, and prioritizing fridge. prioritizing it. And then we can go back here for the nights. Really so let's look at night one and night, and night two. And then night three, four and five. Now that's what we want guys, that is what we want. Organization. Australia Planning. 180 shopper. Alright, so we're actually on the Chase for Chanel Collins. She's literally running away from me. We've got number 11 here. They're not the healthiest choice, but reality, we need to feed our kids sometimes on the weekend. It's better than going to the shop and buying five bucks of hot chips, yeah, I reckon. It's That's just, yeah, it's a, it's a great snack. It's good to have these things in the freezer for nights that you don't want to cook, you don't have anything else. We're talking about convenience, people. Convenience. Convenience. In moderation. Anything in moderation. You have anything in moderation. So, Rusty and Amy, how do you think we went today? Well, we've got all our lovely ladies behind us putting their groceries through the checkout. They, we've really challenged them to choose healthy options and get as much as they can for the designated budget. And they're really enthusiastic. No one's gone over yet. I think, you know, they're being really careful. And um, they've surprisingly got a lot of meals and food and healthy stuff. They've done really well. Yeah. Aside from this, how do you think the training and the budget seminar went this morning at TAFE? I think we gave them really good ideas, we gave, we gave them a really good foundation and gave them lots of information before we sent them off to do it, so I think they would have had a lot in mind. Of do you think what, they, what their attention was brought to in the workshop has came out in the supermarket challenge today? Yeah, I think it has. It's 
mainly influence them to buy more healthy choices and try and find those really economical meals, feed a lot of people for a small amount of money. Uh, now back to the supermarket challenge. Um, has there been any rage or has there been any challenges yeah. in the supermarket? There's definitely been enthusiasm. Yeah, oh my I lord, oh my lord, what is that? <laughs> I think actually what they learned in the workshop actually really came through today in the supermarket challenge. So I think, you know, um, it works and success is, you know, near. All right, so we're here with our winners, Deborah Moran and Leanne Strong. So Deborah got the healthiest trolley for the best buy and Annie Lee got the most economical trolley for the best buy. 84 items for $200 she got. That's how does that win? <laughs> She's a born winner. Two complimentary tickets to the movies for each of them. And Plus we really appreciate their trolley. You. <laughs> <laughs> for those that came under and still had a full trolley, I think we can all learn something from them. Yeah, they are the people that know how to shop. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, again, yeah, thank you for coming to the show and we'll see you next time. Peace, bitches. <laughs>